to I'm going to do um a chroma key on Adobe After Effects CS3. It's over here. Okay. Go to file, import. I'll do multiple, but you might just have one. Okay. Now, I'm going to do this. Okay, it's done. I'm just going to do it kind of simple. Just a person and a background. It might be pretty slow, so don't be surprised. Okay. First, put it on there. Okay. Here. I'm sorry about that. Okay, let's go to effect. You want to go to effect? Oh, you want to first click it. You want to go to effect. Sorry, my mouse is kind of, mm, and you might hear it sometimes. You want to go to keying and color key. Click the eyedropper tool. Click it, and as you can see, you can see all this. It's already kind of like, like, already keyed out. Now all you want to do. Now this is um, perfect lighting. Like literally, it looks perfect. Like nothing wrong. They probably cost a lot of money, but I've done it. I um I should show you one on a homemade thing, but it's too late. Go to color tolerance, and you want to bring it. See if you if you get the person all blackenated, that's not good. You wanna you wanna go down down a little bit if it's too much like that. Okay. There you go. Now it's pretty much done. If there was like it anywhere else on the screen, like anywhere over here or here, then you would add another color key. But right now it's just around the person. That's good. You want it to be around the person. Let me tell you why. I'm gonna close up color key. I'm gonna go click it again. Effect. You wanna go to keying. No, no, no. You wanna go to matte. And you wanna do simple choker. I don't suggest matte choker. I, you go to matte though, but go to simple choker. Simple choke. And you want to have it negative so the green shows. You want the green to show. Don't let it tuck in. Make sure it's on negative. See, you want it negative. Usually you'd have about the 50, but since this is so good in color and stuff, and the coloring and stuff, it per it's just perfect. So you want to go to close that out. Animation. No, sorry about that. You want to go to keying. You want to go to key light. Key light. Okay. Now, you want to click the eyedropper. Then, you want to click the color you want to be out. And look, it's already keyed out. Now, you want to make it look good, don't you? So, let's. As you can see right now, if you don't know what I did, I put on, on, prim, multiply, whatever. So you want to, first of all, have, okay, you want to click it and want to go to 0 0.8. No, no, you want to go to 0. .8. There you go. You want to just have it to 0 0.8 on the pre-blur. You want to go to color balance. In, no, you want to go to color game first. And you want to, all you do is want to try to get rid of, oops, whatever. Okay. Just go as long. Like this. 
Then you want to go to color balance to even it out. Color balance will help a lot. Okay. As you can see, there's still a little. But I just taught you the basics. I'm trying to have it under 10 minutes. Sorry about this. Okay. Um. You want to, um. Then. You want to just kind of let this go. To get the. Then you want to import. File. And you want to import your background. Then, you go to whatever, go down, bring it down. And there you go. Now, it doesn't look so great, but it's okay. So, all I want to do is kind of just simply Let's see. Sorry about this. Okay. And I'm going to export. Going to go to image sequence. I like to do JPEG, but you can pick whatever, including Mac, um, Mac Paint. Cl unclick insert whatever. Insert space before a number. And you want to go to OK. Name it whatever you want of course doesn't matter I'll just go to YouTube test and I want to save and it shouldn't take that long so ooh, I think I have too many piece of frames should have cut it down a lot because I don't need all that well, let me pop. Goodbye, everybody. Hope you comment, subscribe, and um, like. Look at um, our other videos.